Five sacks allowed. Obviously, that's not the standard that your offensive line holds itself to. What, what were they doing up front that allowed them to get after Phil today? Uh, I mean, first, you got to give credit to them. They're, uh, you know, they're great. They have a great defensive line. You know, they have a great scheme. And, uh, you know, just different things and, uh, you know, different techniques and stuff like that. And, you know, and I think it all starts with me. I got to, you know, lead the group up front. And, uh, you know, I, to have five sacks like that, you know, I, I take a, you know, big burden on myself. I think I can play a lot better. And, um, you know, we'll watch the team. We'll get better. And, um, you know, it's is what it is. If you look at what we did early in the season last year, we weren't happy with it, too. But, you know, we bounced back. And, you know, we the rest of the season with, you know, having a very few sacks throughout the game. So, uh, you know, keep encouraging. How did you, how did you see BJ handle the speed of everything, you know, him in his first start, freshman, just dealing with the pace of the game? Um, I think he did a great job. I mean, just handling it, you know, the, the night before and, um, you know, uh, in the huddle on the bench, you know, communicating with coach, I think he did a great job. You know, the speed of the game, it hasn't been a problem with him. You know, he's been here since the spring. You know, we all have confidence in him. He has confidence in us. So. You know, I think he did a great job, and uh, you know, I think he'll continue to help us throughout the season. Well, how much of an impact did Corleone have on your game plan and what your line was able to do, and how much of an effect did he have on the rest of what their defensive line was able to do today? He's a great player. I mean, you know, obviously he's uh, the key guy when we watch film, and you know, we game plan around him. But you know, uh, um, you know, he was big. You know, and uh, you know, he made more plays than you know maybe we have. But you know, we're just gonna watch the tape, get better, and that's all I can really say. What do you think that disconnect was with the passing game? I think he gets only like four completions in the first half. I mean, what do you think that was about? Well, just getting into a group, you know. I mean, um, it's, it's tough sometimes, you know. It's uh, it's not always easy to come out and be right on the dot and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I think we just took a little time to get, get it flowing and get the protection down, you know, give Phil some time. And, you know, like I said, uh, definitely we want to learn from these mistakes and we want to be better for sure. You want to be better. Matt, you mentioned you were able to improve last year. How quickly can you make this transition with a rival game coming in next Saturday? Um, I think fairly quickly. You know, um, you know, it's a rival game. You know, we got to treat every, every game the same. You know, we got to prepare the same way, and um, you know, we got to prepare for it like we prepared for this one. But even better, we got to we got to come in, watch more film. We got to on the practice field. We got to do a lot better, and uh, you know, we got to work harder. And I think you know, once we get into the group of things and uh, you know, finalize positions, I think. Along those lines, you've been on this offense when it's when it's had a rough day and it's ramped it up as the season's gone along. What are the things that you have to key on to get find your rhythm so that you are playing in time and doing what you want to do? I think you know locking in positions. You know, I mean, you know, obviously we're shuffling the line a little bit. It takes a little chemistry to you know go around and you know figure out who's playing here, who's playing there. You know, I think uh, you know locking in my position too. You know, I haven't played on the left side. You know, I've been playing four games last year, but you know, I'm still something I'm getting used to too. Not making it as an excuse, but you know, once we all you know lock into where we are and you know the game plans and you know we're coming to watch film, we all get really comfortable with Phil and the offense, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a really good process for us. Matt, how comfortable do you feel you are right now, as far as an offense is concerned as a whole? I mean, you put up 45 last week on a Wofford team, but then come back this week and kind of had to work there in the second half. How comfortable do you feel that offense is right now? I feel comfortable. I mean, that was a great defensive team. I mean. You know, we, we had we had our game plan. They had theirs, and you know, um, they made a lot of plays. But you know, during the second half, so do we. So, you know, I feel comfortable with our offense. I feel comfortable with our quarterback. You know, we you know we're coming off a, uh, a year where we had a different quarterback, and now we're coming into a year where we have another quarterback. And you look at what happened last year. I, I think it you know it's translated in the same way. But we got to be better, and um, you know, I think we will be better for sure. So, Matt, can you, can last one. Can you just take us through the feeling there on offense when the defense is making plays to give you guys opportunities and you're not able to capitalize? I mean, how, how do you guys you know process that and kind of learn from that? It's tough, you know. We, we go out and we see our defense make huge plays, and um, you know it, it's it's tough. I mean, you know, I'm probably they probably feel the same way if you know we go and score a touchdown, and, you know, they let up you know a touchdown too. So you know, I think it's back and forth, but. It's very disappointing, you know. It's something we want to build on for sure. We want to feed off of the defensive's energy, what they give us, and you know we couldn't do that tonight. And something we got to build on and get better at. Okay, right, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks man. Thanks, man.